From pork chops to pork loin, the other white meat is often seen as a lean source of protein that many incorporate into their diet. But some say we should be a bit more cautious before putting pork on the menu. And health specialist Denise Dore is here with the results of a new Consumer Reports test. That's right, some new concerns here. It used to be trichinosis was a big fear when eating pork, but the risk of getting that disease has been largely eliminated. But now there's something else to be aware of. Consumer Reports' latest tests of pork find there are new reasons to take precautions. Pork is a staple in many American diets, but Consumer Reports lab tests of nearly 200 samples of pork chops and ground pork found cause for concern. More than two-thirds were contaminated with a bacterium called Yersinia enterocolitica. This bug can cause fever and abdominal pain, and even more troubling, the vast majority of the Yersinia bacteria that we found were resistant to one or more commonly used antibiotics. Consumer Reports also found a few pork samples were contaminated with other bacteria that can also be harmful, including Salmonella and Staphylococcus. And again, some of the bacteria were resistant to certain antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance is worrisome because it can lead to infections in humans that are more difficult to treat. On hog farms, healthy pigs are commonly given low doses of antibiotics to prevent infections and promote growth. That can accelerate the development of drug-resistant bacteria. A second Consumer Reports test of 240 pork samples found about 20% had traces of the drug bractopamine that's used in pigs to promote growth and make meat lean. A major pork producer, Smithfield, says ractopamine is a safe and effective food and drug administration approved feed supplement that has been widely used in the hog farming industry for many years. The levels we found were well below the limit set by the FDA. But Consumers Union believes that it should be banned because there isn't enough evidence that it's safe for humans. So Consumer Reports recommends buying pork raised without antibiotics and ractopamine. And it's important to cook pork thoroughly to kill any possible bacteria. Whole pork chops and pork tenderloin should be cooked to 145 degrees. Ground pork needs to reach 160 degrees. If you're looking for a pork product without antibiotics or ractopamine, Consumer Reports says to look for meat labeled certified organic.